happy campers. We are Tony and Peggy from Stressless Camping, and we've been keeping a secret from you. I know. Uh, we are finally able to tell the story, uh, the whole story of our 2022 Rockwood Mini Light 2205S. Wait, what's that? And that's the secret. So it has been equipped with a package called the Power Package built by a company called MasterVolt. Oh. Uh, so what is the power package from MasterVolt? Well, we're here to share that with you. And can you get one yourself? Potentially you can. So one of the significant differences with the MasterVolt system is that there are no batteries on the tongue. What is up with that, Tony? <laughs> well, what this package includes is they will be specced with a 400 amp hour lithium battery by a company called MasterVolt and five 200 watt solar panels up on the roof. It's, it's an insane package. Oh, you can't see them from here. Nope. <laughs> and we've been able to test this system. It's a slightly different system that we have. Uh, they have made some improvements and changes since we were participating in the, in the prototype but I'll show you a little bit of, of how this is. And it's only a little bit because it's packaged. Right. So up in the front, this is the system here, which you're like, well, wait a minute, and I can't see it. Correct. That's it right. is packaged. The production system will be a smaller system. So, so you'll you, have more storage space up there. Correct. And that is why the MasterVolt uh, system is available in Rockwood Mini Light and Flagstaff Microlight travel trailers with the drop frame. So that means the Rockwood Mini Light 2200 series and 2500 series and the Flagstaff Microlight 22 series and 25 series. Right. So those are the trailers you can get this with. So I pointed out before that the you you they need the drop frame to, right. and be to be able to have enough space for the unit and it does take away a fair amount from the storage but from the for those of us who came from a 1905 uh -huh. with two little itty bitty storage things that didn't pass through we still have a significant amount of storage here they're out right now but our chairs fit in here and a pretty good amount of stuff fits in there. And when this box is slightly smaller because they've figured out a way to mount it slightly differently, there will be even more space. Correct. It'll be great. So among the things that are really cool about this system is it's all put together by MasterVolt. So start to finish, it's a complete MasterVolt system using MasterVolt's battery and uh, technology and then go power panels. Uh, that's significant and that it's all designed as, as a component, as one package, so it just works. Right. However, they also have safeguards in the system. So should there be an issue, there is this USB cable and ah. you can hook it to a laptop with internet connectivity. They can literally tap into the system and diagnose it. So okay. that's one of the cool things we have had. It has been absolutely bulletproof. Yeah, we uh, haven't had, I didn't even know that was there because we haven't had a single <laughs> need to use it. No, no. But I mean, I did know there was one. I thought it meant there was a USB port in the inside portion. No, it's, so. it's right there for, <laughs> for that. So that, what I know. that's where that is. Um, another interesting thing about this system, this is the battery disconnect here, which is standard on all Rockwood and Flagstaff trailers, right? Right. So what that does is it technically disconnects the battery. However, it does not disconnect the solar panels from the lithium battery system. So So the panels are still going to be charging the battery correct. even you if you have, have that disconnect you will, on. Right. You will have a thousand watts of solar charging these batteries. So what can you do with that? Let's go inside because okay. it's a rainy it's day today. Rain. <laughs> right? This is a great day to test this system because it shows what is possible even on a cloudy, rainy day. Yep. Go. Okay, so I want to I want to show you that this is not connected to this. 
Aha. So all the, all the things that we're going to show you are unplugged, all running off the MasterVolt system in this Rockwood Mini Light. Okay. So one of the first, foremost, biggest questions that people ask is, well, if you're not plugged in, does the air conditioner work? And I am here to tell you that, yes, the air conditioner works. Another question is, without being plugged into power, can you use the microwave? And again, the answer is yes. The microwave works off of the MasterVolt power package. By the way, as... With the air yeah. conditioner still running. Yeah, and notice that the lights didn't dim, that there was no... Exactly. ...problems at all. So we've had the trailer about nine weeks. Yeah, that's two months and a week two or something. Two months and a week, know. and uh, probably about two of those weeks we've used power hookups yeah if even um, one of the one of the things that I th really feel about this package is it completely changes how you can camp right so we've been out in the woods we've been at harvest host locations a lot of places that um, have just been completely off the grid right we've mooch docked a lot and when we mooch dock you know our especially with family they're like let me give you an extension cord and the fact is we don't need it no. we uh tony is very proud to say that he showed my brother-in-law that he was actually getting more power from the sun than they could provide from the garage right so on a good sunny day so the production versions of this trailer will have five uh, go power 200 watt solar panels. Ours has four 190 watt panels. And even then, on a good sunny day, we can pull in 45 amps of power. Now think about this. You go to an RV park, and a lot of times you'll get a 30 amp connection, right? Right. That's half again more power yeah. than if you're plugged in and it's free and it's just there it's there right. anyway so why are we not using it <laughs> right um, so the system also has a 3000 watt inverter which means yes it can run the air conditioner it's running right now even though it and is the microwave yeah, at the same time it is storming like crazy yeah it's kind of cold in here because we wanted to make a point and we turned on the air conditioner we kind of don't need it <laughs> right but hey what the heck right it's free power um, so also, the refrigerator's running right well, now. Well, what if it runs out in the street and gets hit by a car? Well, then we'll have to get a new one. Oh, well. But also, like, because we're filming, we try to make it bright and sunny and bright and shiny in here, not sunny. Bright and sunny. And so we've got, like, every light on in the ceiling. Right. So, you know, turning on the microwave doesn't affect how bright the lights are or how much the air conditioner works. All these things in conjunction with each other and you know if you've been to any of our classes or you've heard us talk about power before when you're limited to 30 amps you have to kind of count those amps i can't turn on the air conditioner because the microwave's running or things like that because you don't want to over you don't want to over exceed you don't want to exceed that 30 amps we got no problems here yeah and, and again completely off the grid now there are two questions i know you're going to ask right one is, how much is this package? I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> um, that is a question for your Rockwood or Flagstaff dealer. They'll give you the, the current pricing on this because, as I said, we've been running a prototype that's a little different than what you can actually buy. The What you can actually buy is an even better system. But the great news is, with the new model year, this that that system this system is an option that you can price Correct. out and have built right into your trailer. Right. And again, that's specifically the micro light or mini light models that have the drop frame. So on the Rockwood Mini Light, that's like the 2205S, any of the 2500 series. On the Flagstaff Micro Light, that would be the 2200 series or the 2500 series. So all of those, if it has a drop frame, then the package is available as an option. Right. Um, so that, okay, I know what the second question is. How long can you run the air conditioner, right? That's the holy grail question of all of these systems. And the answer is 
there is no answer. Well, it depends. If you're also running all the lights and running the microwave or big brewing a pot of coffee, or you've got all your laptops plugged in and charging, or there's a little bit of sun or a lot of sun, so many factors go into that question that there's not one specific answer. No, but let me give you this. So let's say it's a fairly sunny day or even a bright and sunny day. A happy um, sunny day. Yeah, and it's not <laughs> like stupidly hot. So you're, you know, the air conditioner, if you have it at a setting where it turns on and off, it cycles, um, which is not happening with that thunderstorm, but uh, <laughs> where it cycles on and off, it uses less energy, right? So we have found, we have been able to go from four to seven hours, more or less, on just pure battery power without getting a charge. That's about what we're experiencing. But again, if it's if we're getting all that solar, like if we are getting good solar, 45 amps in, we are far exceeding the demand of the air conditioner. And mm -hmm. the air conditioner in this package is a 13.5 BTU uh, ducted air that does have uh, technology, soft start style technology, so it can run off the battery as well. Right. So there is that. So it's designed to work with this system and it comes as part of this system. Right. So there's the sort so of So as long as there's some power coming in, it's almost not limited. <laughs> right. Here's another thing. The charge controller, it's an MPPT charge controller on this system. It is such a robust controller. You have a thousand watts of solar on the roof. Well, you can add solar on the side. It literally still has the solar on the side. So if you have portable panels, it's like having a supercharger. You just add more more power to the yeah. system if you choose. And one of the great things about that is, like you're saying, you think, well, you've got five panels on the roof, why could you possibly need more? Well, if you're really, really low on battery and you just want to put all the power you can, but also if you've parked in the shade and your solar panels are getting pretty shaded and they're not pulling in as much as you like, but you've got sun right out there, you can just plug those portable panels in, put them out there in the sun, and let them soak up the full strength of the rays when your roof has a little bit of shade on it. Right. Um, another thing, this, as I said, the package is all put together by Masterbolt, right? So it's all designed to work together. There's none of this fiddly nonsense. Right. Um, that's another good thing. It just works it's it, i can't even call it plug and play because you don't have to plug it in right, right. <laughs> it's just there but that uh, is a that is a concern with pretty much any diy project right if you don't have all the components that were built to go together and you have to piece them together there's oftentimes that one little sniggly spot that that it doesn't well, work exactly as you wish it would and right. this does not have that problem yeah you literally with the amount of voltage you can play with in a solar system, you can literally cause fires if the system is not put together right, properly. Right. Or it just doesn't work properly and it's nothing more than a nightmare. Yeah. For us it's been we picked it up at the dealership. We've been using the heck out of it for two and a half months or whatever. Right. And just the whole time there was there's no issues. It just worked. Right. Um one of the neat things uh the way the charging system works, there's a control panel uh, and it's there on the nightstand, which is one of my favorite things because it will show you how much solar you're bringing in, it will show you how much power you're dispersing to the trailer, uh, it will show you an estimate of time remaining on the system. Um, it will allow you to adjust. So let's say you bring your trailer to uh, your brother-in-law's house. For example. And they offer you the plug out of the garage, right? A, a 20, a theoretical 20 amp plug, but then there's the beer fridge in the garage, uh -huh. and it's really a thin 14 gauge extension cord, which is not a thick extension cord. Well, really, what could happen is you could exceed the capacity of that extension cord or trip breakers. So this system allows you to dial down the amount of power from the wall so that it doesn't trip these breakers. Um, so if you plug into some system like that, then you can tell 
we can tell ours only bring in 10 or 12 because we don't want to exceed the what they're giving us. Correct. All right. Okay. So there was a brief interruption for the coolest reason. Yeah, because Brian and Patrick knocked on the door with beer. <laughs> right. So thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we haven't just been drinking. That was yesterday. No, that was yesterday. <laughs> so we're back and in the same shirts, too, which is, you know, it is what it is. Well, because then you don't notice that ah. it's a different day, except that all the changes that you probably yeah. just noticed. Anyway, <laughs> so we had a few more things we wanted to add to right. this uh, video. One of those is... I want to share with you, we did a video interview with the folks from Masterful, mm -hmm. and that's a good long interview where we have an engineer talking about the system. So there will be a link to that. In fact, I'm going to put a web page on stressescamping.com and it's going to have this video and another video and links to where you can ask questions about the package because I'm sure we've missed things. Sure. Um, and people will ask things we haven't even thought of, right? Right, right. And um, so the, you'll be able to get a hold of Master Bolt yourself and ask Well, that too, or us, or whatever. So there will be that. Um, the other thing I wanted to say, uh, charging the system. So if you have a completely dead battery and you go and plug into a 30 amp uh, service with no solar, it's about two and a half hours to charge it. However, remember that if you're driving, if you're uh, just parked out anywhere where there's any amount of sun, it's always charging. And we have found uh, most of the time we arrive at wherever we're staying that night, and it's 100% charged. Right, right. Um, and that's, remember, we have a 12 volt DC fridge. So that fridge is, we don't shut it off. It's never when been we're, turned off. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> we, it hasn't been turned off since we bought the trailer. Yeah. Um, and so that's always working too. So the, the system's always, you know, making the 12 volt fridge uh, cold. And so there's that. Um, can you buy this if you do not order a 2023 Rockwood Mini Light or Flagstaff Micro Light or Rockwood Geo Pro or Flagstaff E Pro? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Absolutely. And that's going to be uh, kind of another whole topic. <laughs> Maybe lutely, right? Uh, not absolutely. The Master Volt people are planning to sell this system as an aftermarket system or comparable systems. And you might say, oh, yeah, but I can go buy lithium batteries and I can buy a Vitron inverter and, and all these pieces. And yes, you can. Uh, and there are some very good aftermarket systems out there. They're especially good if you know what you're doing. Because, as mentioned, there is a lot of power running through these systems. Right. And if you don't do it right and it doesn't work well, you will have paid a lot of money and not gotten what you want. Right. And that's right. a giant bummer, as I said in the other video, where you will have to explain to your spouse why you spent $10,000 on aftermarket <laughs> stuff. And, and she now, still can't use her microwave. Right. And, and, and are now <laughs> sleeping with bears. So that's not good. So the Mastervolt system may be available for your RV. And that includes uh, towables and motorized. Um, and it is a complete everything works together system. It's, it's really well thought through. Uh, the quality of all the pieces are terrific. When we first learned about this system, talking with the engineers at Mastervolt, they really have thought of, I couldn't think of any contingency or system that they hadn't thought of in this system. So we're just really impressed with the system. Who should buy any lithium battery system, right? Well, anybody who wants to boondock. Right. If you like camping off the grid, um, if you, you know, are among the growing people who are finding that full service RV parks are either not to your liking mm -hmm. or just crowded. Yeah. Um, and you yeah. want to camp off the grid and have access to all or most of the systems in your RV. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to run a generator at night or something like that. Right. Or at all. Right, yeah. or at all. Yeah. Yeah, we, in fact, we sold our generators we when did. we sold we our house. We did sell our generators because we knew we weren't going to need them. Right. Um, so it is designed for, you know, any any lithium system or any good quality off-the-grid battery system is an ideal thing if you like camping off the grid. Um, also, if you 
have a 12 volt fridge, um, I have found that they use more power than I thought. And so a single lead acid battery eh, might not might not work out for yeah, you. Yeah. Um, so if you have a park model and it just stays in a park, save your money. Right. Um, if you have a, see, we're on battery power and the air conditioner, the air just, conditioner kicked on. just kicked in. Um, it's if, getting warm out there. Yeah. Uh, and the storm is gone. Boy, <laughs> that was a good one. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, so if you have, if you're always at RV parks, maybe this isn't the best investment. But if you're like us and you mostly boondock yep. or mooch dock, mooch dock, it's a great system. Yep. And we, as I said, it, the nice thing is, it you get it, it works, and no fiddling around. Right. You can fiddle with it, <laughs> but you don't have to. But you don't have to. Um, so that is our take. Uh, we want to encourage you to look at stresslesscamping.com and there will be a, a button there somewhere that you can find out more information. You can watch this video. Well, you already have. Well, you are. <laughs> but there's going to be another, there's the other video that explains the system and I'm sure we'll do more about it. It's, it's a fascinating system. I'm sure we won't have covered all the questions. Right. I will say it has been as a, a game changing and bulletproof are the two best words I can describe. There to you this. go. So that's it. Uh, we also just a little pitch here. We do a weekly podcast all about RVing. So if you haven't found that, oh, well, it's wherever you get podcasts or right at stresslesscamping.com, our home on the web. So that's right. with that, thank you for watching and happy, happy camping. camping.